Good morning. I am just going to pick up Dakota from his sleepover with Nana. I am just killing the outfit right now. Tie-dye shirt, shorts. Can't see it, I got camo socks on. Pretty awesome. No, it's just too early for this. <gasps> there he is, Dakota! <laughs> oh, the long lost son. You ready to go home? Yeah. Okay. Let's go get your stuff. Got bare feet. Yeah, I need shoes. I'm a caveman. Caveman. On rocks out. <laughs> that hurts. Okay, I just got Dakota. Heck yeah! Hi. Of course, they fed me breakfast: biscuits and gravy, hash browns, full of goodness. But they even sent us. Some to go for Kenzie. Awesome best in laws I can ever imagine. Oh! We got the prodigal son. He's returned. Woohoo! I got prizes for Carson and Canyon. Awesome. Okay, let's go. Oh, here. I got some prizes for you guys. Oh, they're naked. <laughs> Uh oh, Coco's in the house. Oh. <laughs> He's trying to shoot his mom, who's not even in the battle. <laughs> shoot my belly. Practicing. We are headed to Nana and Papa's and I dress them accordingly. <laughs> old holy jeans, old wrestling shirt. Bring your dog. And battle stuff. Yeah. yeah. No, but they just love to play outside at my parents. Like rough and tough, so they're getting those clothes, huh? Then I don't have to stress about you ruining nice clothes. Oh, yeah. And they're ready to keep practicing their nerf skills. Oh, so, my dad makes some world famous ribs. <laughs> they're world famous, huh? He told me this morning we were making them, or he was making them, and I told him it made my day. Yeah. My mom called and she said, would you guys want to come have ribs tonight? And I said, uh, what kind of question is that? What time should we be there? <laughs> They're the best things ever, guys. So we are headed there now for dinner. It's going to be super tasty. And I wish you could at least smell them through the camera. But, sorry, you don't get any. Some good ribs. <laughs> Welcome to another story time Sunday. Got some special guests today, Matt and Jed. These are my brothers, guys. They're pretty awesome. How cute we love they them. are. They're pretty big into hunting, and, and in honor of hunting season that just started, we've got a crazy hunting story for you today. It's called... Attacked by a Moose. And that's exactly what happened. <laughs> so. so we're going to let them tell you guys what happened. Alright, so me and my brother, we were going to one of our favorite hunting spots and it's a pretty steep canyon and lots of pine trees and we're walking up this canyon and we get up to the very top and it's pretty thick you can only probably see 10 or 20 yards in front of you and we stumble upon a calf moose and just behind it is a cow moose for those of you who don't know uh, uh, the mama moose is very protective of the baby moose and uh, me and Jed weren't comfortable with the situation, so we decided to turn back and go down the other canyon because there's no way to go around them without putting pressure on the moose, and we didn't want to. We didn't want to spook the moose, yeah. So we start going down the canyon, and we get down to the very bottom of this canyon, and there's a rock cliff on the one side of the canyon, and then, and then a river. So they're and, sandwiched. Yeah, <laughs> and we're walking this little trail. And it's probably 20 feet wide, this 
the bottom of this canyon. And we're walking and it makes a big turn. The the trail does through the canyon. And we come around this bend and there's a there's a cow moose laying in the middle of the trail. And uh I didn't know what to do. We were too close to it, probably 15 yards at this point. And uh so we slow, slowly started to back up and the thing stood up and stumped. And at this point, being a big brother, I decided to put my little brother behind me. And I was like, stand behind me in case something happens, you know. He checked him back there. <laughs> and, uh, Get out of my way. And I have my bone arrow because we archery hunt. So and, no gun. No gun. <laughs> and at this point, I start waving my arms, trying to get big, trying to intimidate the moose. Throwing rocks, kicking dust. Start yelling, hey moose, hey moose. And uh, start kicking rocks at it, trying to scare it away. And it just keeps getting more and more irritated. It starts chomping its teeth and starts going up on its rear legs and stomping. <laughs> I would have peed my pants. <laughs> and uh, at this point, it's just slowly walking towards us. So I get an arrow out of my quiver and knock the arrow. And, on his string. and I keep waving because I'm, I want to scare the moose off. Obviously, I don't want to hurt it. And at this point, it's probably five yards from us. Just looking, it's walking with its head down. And I put my, my release on my string. And when I look up from that, the hair on its neck was standing up and its ears were pinned back. <laughs> and it comes running oh. right at me. And uh, I barely had time to draw my bow back. And I didn't. E I wasn't look even looking at my sights, and thankfully, when I shot, I hit it uh, right in the head. Perfectly. And it s slid to a stop. It it stood straight up, and it was staring. I I felt like it was staring right through me, but its eyes got like the size of baseballs. It looked like like holy cow, what the heck just happened? <laughs> and then it like he said, it backed up and ran into a tree and tipped over and started kicking and. As soon as we didn't even wait for it to die, we just took off running. As soon as he hit it in the head, we just started sprinting towards the truck. You guys but, were young and terrified. Yeah, yeah, I was twelve. I had my learner's permit. I haven't even been driving. But I, <laughs> Oops. I was I was twelve. Three I didn't, miles from our house. So. I didn't know really much anything. So we called the DNR. I tell him what happened and stuff. Said I, me and my brother were attacked by a moose, and he came and met us at the bottom of the trailhead. And we hiked up, and they did an investigation, and we're taking pictures and things like Make that. Make sure the story was legit. Yeah. <laughs> they just kill a moose. They were, they were able to document that where I was standing, kicking rocks at the moose, and where the moose had slid to a stop was just under three feet from me, so literally from me to the camera. And, uh, <laughs> That's or insane, an guys. Length. And um, they said we were lucky we couldn't have hit it more perfect. Yeah, moose have a four inch thick skull plate and they've seen bullets bounce off of their foreheads and for some reason my arrow from went, that close went perfectly through its head and um it, I was pretty sad that it had to end that way cuz obviously I hunt for conservation. I want my kids to be able to hunt so I don't do it just to kill things. The DNR cops gave us the option to just head back home or help them uh, field dress the animal so they could donate it. So me and my brother, we quartered the animal up and packed it out to their truck so they could donate it to a family in need or something like that. And, and for those of you who don't know how big that is, like 1,200 pounds? Yeah, about. That they packed out? was what? 100 pounds? Yeah, probably two or 300 pounds. And <laughs> it took us all night. We were there till like 2 a.m. But it, it, it was interesting for sure. And it was definitely a story. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a crazy one. Yeah. Grateful for those of you who are like, thinking, why didn't you turn and run away? Or why didn't you get behind a tree? We were, there was literally nothing in the bottom of the canyon besides a river and a cliff. And I wasn't about to turn my back, let alone my brother's back, to have moose that was going to charge us. Mm -mm. And um, behind us, we had the mom and baby. You can't forget about that. And we were sandwiched in between two moose, I guess. And... <laughs> Well, and there's no one that respects and admires wildlife more than these two. So, you know, if they did it, it needed to be done. So. And for those of you who get around moose, uh, they're typically pretty skittish. They're a fight or flight animal. They have a really small brain. Most of the time they'll run off, but for some reason this moose felt very threatened. Yeah. 
and had nowhere else to go, either did we. So, so the DNR cop said they were. He was grateful that it was the moose that died instead of one of us. So, there's sure. the story. Crazy. Uh, My brothers are freaking studs. Yeah. How old were you when that happened? I was I was twelve, so you were fifteen. Fifteen years 15, old. Fifteen year old. Fifteen year old boy, guys. Attacked by moose. Shot a moose from that close <laughs> with, with a, a bow. bow. That's crazy. I've been false charged by grizzly bears, black bears, mountain lions, but As never... He's, he's only 19 right now as he's speaking, too. Ne never a moose like that, and definitely that's a lot scarier than a bear charging you. Yeah. I don't know why, just the look in its eyes, and <laughs> something was messed up with it, but no. what can you do? Definitely a spooky moment, but it was kind yeah. of... It's a fun story. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, we don't have any video from it. I know. Matt threw Jed behind him and said... Get the camera out and yeah, I was, was fumbling through crazy. the bag, but I was like watching the moose at the same time. Yeah, so I failed to mention that when I pushed Jed <laughs> behind me, I said, "Jed, get the camera." I, I had a bad feeling that well, they this, wanted to document, you know, the thing was gonna charge. And <laughs> right as I'm waving my arms and stuff, I look back to make sure Jed's recording, and he's on his hands and knees with the bag dumped out, and he's <laughs> moving stuff around, looking at the oh. moose. And I at that little. point, I wasn't gonna try and. <laughs> force him to find the dang camera even though it was probably right at his hands. Oh, that'd be a terrifying thing yeah. for a grown man to go through, let alone a 12 and 15 year old. Yeah. Yep, Utah Sportsman. You go follow them. Check them out on Instagram. Instagram. We'll put a link down below. But yeah. Thanks for watching guys.